Hurricane Ida was the fourth hurricane and second major hurricane of the 2021 Atlantic hurricane season, making landfall near Port Fortune, Louisiana on August 29th on the 16th anniversary of the Hurricane Katrina landfall. Even these systems make landfall far away from us, they can still have impact. It then headed towards the Mountain State, bringing remnants to West Virginia on August 31st and September 1st. Our biggest impacts that we saw were streams and creeks being flooded, and then in turn about that homes nearby those streams and creeks uh, took on water damage, and basements flooded, first floors flooded. We heard stories of water being chest deep on the first floor. There are some mudslides in Clay County. Although West Virginia saw several inches of rainfall from Ida, some locations in Clay County and Preston County receiving over five inches, high rainfall amounts weren't as widespread as initially forecasted. Initially forecasting four to six inches of rain across much of Marion, Maw, and Preston, Tucker counties. And then what happened was, as Ida moved up, we had like this dry slot that come through. So, and that kind of helped Marion and Mon see lower precipitation totals. The heaviest of rain actually fell northeast of West Virginia, more in the south central PA, eastern PA, and then parts of uh, southern New England. We get the heavy rain that we were initially expecting, so the main stem rivers pretty much uh, stayed below flood stage. Also, what helped was areas that received high rainfall amounts were pretty dry. Depends on you know the how wet we are going into one of these events. Um, for the most part, the eastern half of West Virginia was fairly dry overall. Where the heavy rain fell was generally our driest location. I think we dodged a bullet. And hurricane season isn't over yet. We'll have another you know four to six weeks to kind of be concerned with and watch the tropics. For West Virginia Tonight, I'm meteorologist Casey Herman.